Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this new series that I call Journey to Med where I'm trying my best and my very hardest to help prospective medical applicants achieve their dreams and their goals by getting into medical school. So today I have a kind of another video lined up for you in this series where I'm going to walk you through six things you should definitely, definitely take into consideration when you're choosing your medical schools. Because with the UCAS system in the UK, you can only choose five different schools to apply to f uh, for any kind of degree. But if you are a medical dentistry or veterinarian applicant, I think, I'm not sure if there's more, but for these three, I'm sure, you can only apply to four different schools, which means that your options are rather limited and you have to be pretty tactical on where you apply to maximize your chances of getting an offer. If you feel that this type of content interests you, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with other people that could benefit from it as well. So now that all of this is out of the way, let's get into the video. when you're applying to medical school is your own strengths. So for example, if you have a very high UCAT score, then definitely consider applying to schools that will kind of only look at your UCAT score to give out interviews, such as I think Sheffield is one of those schools. Um, and then if you don't have that good of a UCAT score, then apply to schools that will not look at your UCAT so much and will also weigh your personal statement and your work experience very heavily. Um, as well, if you have very high GCSE scores or IGCSE scores, apply to schools that will really consider these scores as well rather than just looking at your A-levels or your predicted results. If you also think that it might be difficult for you to reach that A-star AA level, then maybe try to consider applying to schools that could allow you to drop down a grade or only require, only require three A's. So you kind of have kind of a safety net at least for your insurance choice. I think that another thing to take into consideration is the fact that if you have both taken the UCAT and the BMAT and one of them doesn't go well, then you can just apply to the UCAT schools because that, because that will maximize your chances of getting an interview offer. So I guess that my point here is just to say that you should apply tactically to medical schools to maximize your chances of getting a medical school interview offer. Because at the end of the day, if what you want to do is medicine, then medicine is medicine and if you study medicines in one of the best ranking medical schools in the UK or in a school that is not ranking as high at the end of the day you will still graduate as a doctor and if being a doctor is what you want to do and you found a school that corresponds to you then that should be enough. Another thing you should consider as well when you're applying to medical school is how will the teaching be conducted? Because in the UK, there are three, three kind of main ways medical schools can teach you, and they go by these three categories. It's either traditional, either PBL, or integrated. Traditional is a system where um, the, your medical studies will be very distinctly separated between preclinical years and clinical years. So in the first two years, you will mainly only be studying kind of the basic medical sciences and not seeing any patients at all. And these schools that use uh, this system are Oxford and Cambridge. Then you have PBL schools where it's schools where you have a lot of self-directed study and you have kind of PBL cases, so problem-based learning cases, with a group every single week and then discuss with that group what are the intended learning objectives and what are the things you should be learning from this case. Then you would go home and study these cases. You also have lectures throughout the week to support your self-directed study as well as anatomy lab and consultation skills. You also start seeing your patients pretty early on in your medical um, school studies. And then the last one is integrated schools, which are schools that kind of blend traditional and PBL aspects together, where um, you're, they're trying to give you a lot of basic medical sciences at first, with kind of maybe a bit more lectures than you would have in PBL, but they're still going to try to mix it and blend it very well and in, integrate it well with aspects of PBL, such as communication skills, such as in a lot of anatomy lab, and seeing patients early on as well. So my suggestion would be that if you are sure that you don't want to be in a traditional school, then don't apply to Oxford and Cambridge for sure, because you won't be happy there, even if they're very high ranking and they're very prestigious. If that's not the type of learning that's made for you, then don't apply there. Um, and then if you feel that PBL and you've done the research on PBL and you're not really sure if that could be something that could correspond to you, then only apply to integrated schools. Maybe put one PBL school in there 
just to see. But if you're sure that PBL is not something that you're definite on, then don't only apply to PBL schools, also apply to integrated school, which is kind of a good mix between all of them. However, what, even if you choose two, like four medical schools in the integrated category, all these three, four medical schools could have different ways of teaching you within that integrated category. So I would really highly suggest that you look through the, how the school will actually teach you medicine for all of the schools you're considering and decide based on your own reflections which one could suit you the best. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be in that medical school for five years. That's going to be somewhere that you're going to be studying every single day. So you have to make sure that the way you will be learning content and absorbing content is a way that is made for you. And so I honestly really highly suggest that you really look through all of the school curriculums because that will definitely help you to make your choice. The next thing to take into consideration when you're choosing your medical school is to ask yourself, is this degree that I'm choosing a five year or a six year degree? Because in the UK, you have the opportunity to take a year out, which is called intercalating, where you actually take a year out of medicine to study another field of science that you're really interested about interested in. So of course this uh, year out has to be somewhat related to medicine, uh, but it goes as far as you know tissue engineering and bioengineering and things like that. And so when you choose your medical school, you have to ask yourself a few different questions. First, do you personally want to intercalate? Do you want to take a year out and do a six year degree instead of a five year degree? If, you, if the answer to that is no, then you can definitely consider applying to medical schools that will only give you the opportunity to do a five-year degree. That's it. Uh, some medical schools will not give you the opportunity to intercalate. Then if your answer is yes, I definitely want to intercalate, then definitely consider applying to schools where you have the obligation to intercalate. So schools like Cambridge, Oxford, Imperial, UCL, they are all six, year, um, six years and you have to intercalate and you don't have any type of option to say no I do want to take that year out and if you're someone like me when you're when you're like uh, I'm not too sure if I actually want to intercalate or not but the I want to keep my option my options open then definitely apply to medical schools where you have the choice you can decide after the second third or fourth year to take a year out and intercalate and that's I think a good option as well Another thing to take into consideration regarding the five or six year degrees is to think about do you want to do a bachelor or do you want to do a master's? Because some schools, especially I think the schools where it's kind of already integrated in the degree where you have to do it, they can only offer their students to do bachelor's degrees. However, other medical schools where they give you the choice to make and the option to intercalate after the second, third, or fourth year, some of these schools can also give you the opportunity to, to do a master's degree. So if you're more interested in doing a master's degree, then definitely look into the schools that will offer that as well. The next thing to take into consideration when you are choosing your medical school for the UK is how will anatomy be taught? Um, because different medical schools will use different methods to actually teach anatomy and based on what your preferences are, then you can choose which schools you want to go to. For example, some medical schools will not use full body dissections at all, like at all. They're not going to use full body dissections and they're only going to use prosections, which is kind of a technique where somebody in the anatomy department has already dissected uh, the body part or the tissue for you or dissects it in front of you and then explains to all the students around. But the student themselves will not be actually dissecting on their own. Whereas if you do full body dissections, then students will have the opportunity to dissect the human tissue on their own, of course with some supervision, but they have the utensils to actually do them on their own. Um, and then schools will use a mixture of both prosections and dissections. Mostly some schools will say that for kind of complicated tissues such as the tissues of the neck, the head, students will not be dissecting it and it's going to be di directed by prosections. But if for you having a medical school that has full body dissection is a must, then definitely do your research to understand which schools have um, these kinds of opportunities in your teaching. The next thing to take into consideration when you are choosing your medical school is the city and the environment. Because realistically, when you're going to be applying to medical school, you will be actually staying in that city for five to six years. 
and that's a long time. So you need to make sure that the places you apply to are places where you can be happy and strive and be comfortable and accommodate too quickly. Because if you apply to schools where you know for a fact that the area, the place, the feel is not what corresponds to you, then you're not going to be very happy in that place and you might not strive as well. However, after I've said that, you also need to realize that the city or the environment or the build buildings are not one of the most important factors and the people that are surrounding you and the teachers and the other students in that um, same university are the people that are going to be the most important as well and one of the most important factors. So if you, you know, been to open days and you know that the city itself is not the best and it's not, you know, what you like to live in but you felt extremely comfortable in the university and you felt you know you were vibing with them really well you were kind of on the same wavelength and definitely apply to that university don't limit your options just because of the city because you know the people make the place not necessarily the city so the city might not seem attractive and interesting from the outside but once you're inside and you have the people around you then the city might seem and feel like 10 times better than what you initially thought it was so don't limit your options just to the city but do take it into consideration as well the next thing that i want to talk to you guys about is definitely not the most important thing but it could definitely be something to talk about and consider if you already have like five or six schools you want to apply to but you have to bring them back down to four and that is the fact that you need to think about the structure of the university and when I mean structure I'm talking about building wise is this university a campus university or is it a city university if it's a campus university it means that all of the buildings of that university are kind of located in the same area of the city and so the university kind of almost feels like a small city within the actual city or is this university a city university which means that all of the buildings of the university are kind of scattered and spread around the universe uh, the city itself so you might have the anatomy building in one area and then five blocks away the lecture hall for medicine and then two kilometers away another building of the university for another course so is that something that disturbs you is that something that you like these could also be something to think about if you know to decide which universities you want to apply to so yeah guys i guess i'm done with this video i hope that this video was helpful it was insightful that you were able to learn a few things about how to choose your medical schools for the uk if you like this content and you like this video please subscribe to my channel like this video and share it with other people that could benefit from it if you have other questions regarding this video or other videos that i've done in my journey to med series please comment down below or contact me through the ends at differently moi and I guess that's it. Um, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you for watching.